Heading down to Connie now, guys. <laughs> Let me do that again. Yeah. <laughs> So one of the things that I want to do with you guys is take you through a commentary as I go through a metabolic training session so I can explain what I'm feeling, what I'm doing. As, you, as I said before, metabolic training sessions are full body workouts. So we do muscle groups like this one where we're working our hips, uh, areas of weakness for a lot of guys that it's not always the most fun to work, but it helps create a balanced, healthy physique. Uh, you know, and it definitely, <laughs> Definitely is uh, rough on the ego for sure. It's funny, a lot of men are not that great with their hip abductors and you know, I'm one of them trying to work on it there. Uh, for this stage, we went into an overhead tricep. So we did a lower body, we're going right into a full body, trying to keep that band off my back as I go and really squeezing at the top, all right? Just getting that time under tension. That's super, super important. We paired this, this grouping was a uh, strength with a cardio so i paired it up with diagonal foot switch mountain climbers getting that heart rate up keeping it elevated for my next station so as you can see still got the hoodie on must not be working that hard yet moving on into the waiter hold this is it's unbelievable how some of these isometric holds cause you to sweat so much with such little movement but this is a great exercise for the forearms the brachialis the biceps um, and the core as well, because you really have to brace tight. We had a five second rest here. We went right into a squat to upright row, okay? So I'm a huge fan of this movement. I, I like upright rows if you can do them safely. I know they get a lot of hate in the fitness industry, but I like them if you can safely perform them. From there, we had an overhead shoulder press. This emphasis on this workout was on delts, biceps, triceps, hips, and hamstrings. So. Uh, we paired it right up with a skier swing. This is a deceptively good exercise for working your rear delts and upper back. Just make sure you really squeeze your glutes through at the top. But hopefully you guys are seeing you don't need a ton of, oh, there's, there's Big Ty coming in behind me. You guys don't need a ton of equipment to get a great workout, all right? Strap glute bridge, extremely challenging movement. We're keeping a 90 degree angle at the hip and at the knee, really extending through the hips, really smoking those glutes and hamstrings. Again, not the easiest of movements, but very, very effective for glute and hamstring development. We paired that right up with an alternating strap leg curl. So you can see the concept of this workout was a strength exercise with a cardio exercise. So something for a minute that was a little more strength oriented, a little bit faster on the cardio for less time, okay? And that's something you all can do to really get a good metabolic training effect. We paired up, uh, this is a rotational plank right here, which works your obliques a lot. You get a really good stretch in that oblique. Try to tap your hip to the ground, keeping your toes planted into diamond burpees. All right, going right down and up with a diamond grip, working those triceps a little more. Hey, so I wanna do a lot more of that with you guys, take you through a sample metabolic training session, give you a little taste of what we do. That workout was called Thunder and Lightning. So what that is, it's a minute of strength work. You have a five second rest, you have 30 seconds of core or cardio work, and you go around six stations like that three times. So it's a great workout. The whole thing takes about 34 minutes. It's super efficient. You could really substitute in a number of exercises that I chose to do based on the equipment that you have. You could do that in a commercial gym. You could do it with body weight. You could do it with all dumbbells, a barbell. It doesn't really matter. It just matters that you put the principles of metabolic training in place as you do it. If you guys have any questions about it, please comment below, linked below in the description. I will list the workout so you can see what it looks like written out. But if you guys need some ideas for how to incorporate this in your garage or in your basement, leave your ego at the door with metabolic training, have fun with it, and get ready to experience the most effective workout you've done in a long time. Down the colony now to visit James. See what he's up to down there. On Thursdays, I like to travel around, go to the different gyms. I um I train a lot out of our Green Island facility Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. So Thursday's a day to hop around and see how these guys are doing. So 
Let's check it out. I'm excited to see him. I don't know if they're always excited to see me though, so let's find out. So on our way back down from Saratoga, heading towards Albany, thought I'd share a story with you and, and let you know a little bit about how I got into metabolic training. Uh, something that I think is kind of a, an interesting note. My background was always in traditional strength training. Uh, there was a phase in my life where I really cared a ton about how much I could squat, bench, deadlift uh, for one rep maxes. But over time, I really got more into the aesthetic side of fitness and, you know, building my body and looking a certain way. Um, I thought it was so cool how you could alter and change that. So at this time, I was doing more of this powerlifting style training. I was also doing metabolic with, uh, at that time, mostly nearly all women. I think we had like 70 women and like three guys. Shout out to Scott Mitchell. He was one of them. Um, but... What I noticed was these women were getting capped delts and upper back development that I was having trouble getting myself. And I just kept seeing it happen again and again and again. And to this day, there's always three muscle groups I tell people in metabolic that I guarantee will improve. And it's your delts, your glutes, and your upper back. You will see development in those areas from doing metabolic training, which is which is really cool for me as a guy who wanted to, to build those areas. So um, I saw it, I said to myself, you know what, I'm just gonna try this for two weeks. And I made, uh, I, I say I made because now like it kills us to miss, miss a workout, but I made Drew Smith try it with me. And uh, you know, we haven't looked back. And I can remember, it's kind of funny, I used to make Drew do it three days a week. And I don't think he was a big fan of that, but over time, he got addicted to it just like I did, and, and the rest is history. But the coolest thing for me that the other styles of training lacked, that metabolic training really provided, is the way it makes me feel. And I, I don't think that's something you can quantify. People in fitness, they don't tend to talk about that, how, how exercise makes you feel emotionally, spiritually, um, stress level wise. It's, metabolic training is special. There's something in the sauce. There's something special about that that has made me stick with it, and I will never, I will never go back. It's, and I'm sold. I'm a lifer, and uh, you know, I want to take you through my journey as someone who's trying to promote this style of training to the masses and help you understand how I came into it and show you ways that you can get into it too.